September 3rd, 301. In the hushed valleys and lofty clifftops of Europe, a tale silently begins to unfold. A tale that will, over time, evolve into the world's oldest surviving republic. So let's go back to this very day, over a millennium ago, when a tiny state was etched into the annals of time forever. Today, on a day like this, the foundation of San Marino. Picture this, it's the fourth century. The grandeur of the Roman Empire began to wane, chipping away under the relentless blows of time and endless battles. Conflict has become a constant part of life as territories clamor for dominance, clanging together in devastating warfare that scatters people and permanently alters land and lives. Yet, amidst tough terrains and timeless turmoil, humanity stubbornly perseveres. In Western Europe, tribes and kingdoms blur in a kaleidoscope of power struggles. Culture is a flickering flame against the foreboding darkness. Every single piece of art, every song and tale passed down, is a wild act of defiance, an assertion of survival. On the societal front, a swirl of traditions and customs permeate every aspect of life. Ancient religions gradually started making way for Christianity. As a result, people's beliefs are as diverse as they are fervent, from pantheist Romans acknowledging a multitude of gods to the monotheistic Christians, steadfastly embracing their faith amidst strife. All of this provides the backdrop to our story today. Now let's journey to a small piece of rugged land nestled between present-day Italy and Rimini, San Marino. Fading away from the edge of all the turmoil and into our central tale, we focus on this small mountainous land. Blessed with stunning natural beauty, this piece of heaven was about to carve an independent identity for itself that still stands unmatched till date. The founding of San Marino is rooted in a tale of faith, resilience, and the quest for a peaceful existence. The central character of this narrative is a man named Marinus, a stonecutter by profession hailing from the island of Rab in Dalmatia. The early Christian persecution under Emperor Diocletian compelled Marinus to flee his homeland. Around 257 AD, he found refuge on Monte Titano, where he led a monastic life. Inspired by his virtues, followers flocked to this tranquil haven, giving birth to a small community under Marinus's spiritual guidance. On September 3rd, 301 AD, with the blessing of local communities, Marinus laid the foundation stone of a chapel and thus officially founded what we now know as San Marino. Little did they know at that moment, this event would mark the inception of a republic that would withstand the test of history to become one of the world's oldest existing independent states. Apart from its small size or picturesque landscapes, what's significant about San Marino's foundation is not its eminence, but its endurance. In an era overshadowed by conquests, empires rising and falling, kingdoms being formed, divided and eradicated. Marina's humble deed of establishing a space devoted to peace and harmony offered a refreshing contrast. Now let's take a moment to understand why this event holds considerable significance. At the dawn of this small republic lies a story and sentiment that resonates on a universal human level. It's about how simple men envisioned a sanctuary amid tumultuous times. It's about fortitude in establishing peace when turbulence prevails all around. It makes us rethink power structures and appreciate modest yet firm resistance against turbulence. At the core of San Marino's narrative is the defiance against invasions or territorial ambitions. When surrounding empires squabble amongst themselves for regional dominance, San Marino remained cocooned in its wish for peaceful coexistence while simultaneously maintaining sovereignty and autonomy. We often get endeared by tales of independence won through epic battles and heroic acts. Though undeniably valiant and inspiring, there's something almost ethereal about San Marino's story. No grand charge into battles, no fields drenched in blood for glory, just a small group of people carving out their corner in the world with peace at heart. Inevitably, San Marino had its share of struggles, periods when its sovereignty was questioned or threatened. Yet it survived each trial with commendable resolve and managed to negotiate alliances to protect its independence. In Europe's shifting political landscape over centuries, multiple mighty kingdoms have risen and fallen, Empires have spread their wings in great might, only to crumble under their hubris. Through all this turmoil, tiny San Marino stood unfaltering in its resolution. It wasn't merely a state, it was an idea. An idea born in peaceful defiance that sovereignty can exist without conquests or power struggles. And that idea has survived. Today, over 1700 years since Marinus first laid that stone on Monte Titano, the most serene republic of San Marino stands as a testament to peace, resilience, an indomitable human spirit. Following the formation of San Marino, this small enclave began to flourish. Its mountaintop location offered safety and solidity, beckoning people from all walks of life seeking shelter under its protective wings. And so, 
Bucking the treacherous tide of those turbulent times, San Marino started carving out a unique identity for itself. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. San Marino faced its share of challenges and perils. There were raids and invasion attempts, power struggles, and political upheaval. Yet through it all, this tiny republic prevailed. Its indomitable spirit echoed through its rugged mountains and bustling towns. Over the centuries, San Marino morphed from that small monastic community led by St. Marinus into a thriving microstate boasting a distinct cultural and political footprint. Its story spread across the world as a symbol of endurance and independence. It became known as a place where freedom isn't just a concept, but a way of life. A haven where democracy, equality, and autonomy carry deep, unequivocal meaning. San Marino may be small, but its impact is profound. Its story serves as a reminder that size doesn't determine destiny, and that the smallest flame can sometimes shine brighter than the grandest fire. Now that we're delving into the path of this influential country, let me tell you some rare and remarkable facts about San Marino. For starters, did you know that this tiny republic has a total area of just over 24 square miles? That's less than a third of the size of New York City. Still, St. Marino has more cars than people, with over 1260 cars per 1,000 residents. This nation also holds the grand title for having the oldest still functioning constitution in the world, a document drafted way back in 1600. It also has a remarkable record of military neutrality and hasn't been to war since 1463. As we step out of the time capsule and return to our current day, we find a country that, with all its quirks, has continued to stand the test of time. Having endured countless turns of fortune throughout the ages, San Marino now holds an entirely different reputation, a beacon of tranquility and endurance amidst a world that is in constant evolution. Yes, the world of today is unrecognizable from that of St. Marinus, but the foundations laid on that fateful day in 301 are still very much evident in San Marino. There is something amazing about this small republic. Perhaps it's the blend of antiquity and modernity that captivates the eye, or maybe just an endearing sense of defiance that's definitely worth pondering. Remember, at its heart, San Marino demonstrates resiliency, a testament to its enduring culture, vigilant neutrality, and commitment to maintaining sovereignty. A small state in size, yes, but by no means small in its historical significance or influence. San Marino might be just a dot on the map compared to most nations, but never forget that each dot has its own tale to tell, its own history that beckons us to listen. And on this day, we listen to the story of San Marino, founded over 1700 years ago, still standing proudly today. Now I would love to hear from you. What did you know about San Marino before today? Did its ancient story surprise you? What did I miss to have mentioned? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't hesitate to join in and subscribe to be part of the journey back in time. Till then, I'll see you for another piece of history that happened on a day like this.